Sup, y'all? Alright, today I'm gonna be breaking down this beat I made. Here's a preview. Okay, so for this specific beat, I um, I had kind of a catastrophe. So I was recording, and it was like a three gigabyte rep recording, right? It was like an hour, two hours long. So the way I have my OBS set up is I'm recording my screen, and then I'm recording my camera on two separate instances of OBS. So I can like resize my camera and like scale it up and down and move it anywhere. So I have to like route the outputs into different folders so it doesn't like overwrite each other. But I just forgot to do that. They were both going into my camera folder when I was recording that. I forgot to check. And so I only had one video and that was just me just talking and there was no audio at all. So I'm just going to like go through it again and then play it. This will probably be kind of a short video. But um, anyways, I, don't, I didn't want to just upload nothing this week. I wanted to at least do something. So sorry. Here it is. Okay, so this is the song. It's got quite a lot of stuff. Um, so let's start with the melodies. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I started off with this piano. And it's going like this. We're in G sharp minor. So I had that piano, and then I think I added the serum so I think after that what I did was I consolidated it into this and I think I put put halftime parametric EQ and some some timeless and I layered that on top with the piano and stuff And then right here, I just added some chords from Loves. And right here, we have an x pin preset. It is Evil Frog. Then we have another x pin This one is Reverse Melody. This one wasn't actually in G sharp minor, I think it was in major, so I put some chroma on it. And I just adjusted the key to be in G sharp minor. And then we just have some choir, synvox. And later on it gets like a little more added, the thirds and fifths and then the sevenths. So we could use it in different parts of the song. Oh, and then I forgot, we also have this which I think I took out this pattern one and I put on like some crazy like gross speed and like phaser and stuff. I think maybe portal too. I also pitched it up an octave and so with that it sounds like this. Oh and then down here actually I recorded myself singing and since I'm very uncomfortable with my voice at this moment, I have like Autotune Pro, Convolver, Low Cut, um, like kind of a boost for the highs, compression, a little bit of Low Alter Boy, and then another Low Cut just to get rid of, and rid of any extra frequencies. And so it's like really washed out and it's in the background. I don't know, it's not too much and I feel kind of embarrassed, but I'm taking steps and that's the important part, so like whatever. It's literally just me hitting like the notes of the melody, but that's pretty hard. Like I've, I've, I've sang like twice and it's in the past like couple weeks. And then that's about it for the melodies. So let's go on to the drums. Okay. So the drums is like the most complicated part of this whole beat. So I'll start simple. I added this, um, like sub bass. And that's just in the beginning and in the intro and in like the intermittent parts. And then I also found this drum loop. Which 
is kind of cool. So here's what the full drums sound like, and then I'll go into a little bit more of a deep dive after this. <laughs> Okay, so we have just some kicks right here. And then our 808s. We have that one, and then we have this one. And then also we have this like spins that's like way up high, and it's just kind of an accent. So all together that's sounding like this. And then we just have a bunch of hi-hats here. They all kind of come together. This, um, my favorite one is probably this open hat. I did some, I messed around with like the slides and stuff. So it's like. So if I unmute all the hi-hats, we have all the hi-hats and the beta 8s is what that sounds like. And then we just have like some snares, some claps, and some laser sounds. That's about it for the drums. But I've been listening to a lot of like Botanica recently. It's a really interesting genre. They use like a lot of sound design and stuff and like granular like stuff. It's like kind of like glitchy sounds and I just I had this sample pack so I used some of those sounds from there and like glitches and that kind of meshes with the drums pretty well to give it like kind of a bounce and like a and it's kind of a unique kind of sound to it in my opinion <laughs> Originally, I think I still have the pattern in here. Um, yeah, here. I was gonna do like this one. I was gonna do like my typical like shoegaze kind of drums where it's like. Um, but I, I decided to opt for more of like a, like a reggaeton type of drum vibe where it's like the Um, this was actually an accident. I was, uh, I muted this one. I had it like that. And I had this down here with the new pattern. And then I unmuted this. So I was like, oh, what is this? And it sounds actually really cool together if you play it all at once. And so that's about it for the drums, honestly. But anyways, that's about it, man. So I spent a lot of time on this one. Four hours, 56 minutes. Of course, we spent about, let's see, like 20 minutes just recording this. So we can subtract a little bit, but whatever. Yeah, man, that's about it. Here, before you leave real quick, I'd like to show you my art project. I left this in my art teacher's room at school for like a whole year. And I finally got it back. That's my little dude. I like to keep him right over here on the side move my camera next to my whiteboard it kind of just looks looks at the screen but yeah that's about it man here's the full beat goodbye